What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to set up WordPress using Pantheon. In order to set up your Pantheon account, you're going to want to go to pantheon.io and from the home page you can either click the get free account button here or up here in the upper right. When you do that, you're going to be directed to the create free account page and you're just going to need to fill out the information that Pantheon is asking of you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And once I've done that, I'm going to click create account. And that's pretty much it. Then you're going to be logged into your Pantheon's dashboard. And this is where you can either create a new site or work on an existing site that you might have already created. I'm going to go ahead and create a new site. So I'm going to click this button right here. And I need to give my site a name. So this is going to be a unique name that you're going to call your site. I'm just going to call this particular site Demo1 and I'm going to create a site. Now if that already exists, you'll actually get a warning message that that actually already exists. So let me just put something a little bit higher that hopefully doesn't exist like Demo100 and I'm going to click Create Site and then Pantheon is going to ask me to configure my site. You have several options here. You can start from scratch and this is where you're going to just begin a new project. You can do this with either Drupal or WordPress. You can also import an existing site. So if you already have a site and you wanted to move it to Pantheon, you could go ahead and import. We're going to start from scratch and I am going to go ahead and tell Pantheon that I want to install WordPress. So I'll click install WordPress and it's going to go ahead and create the site. So notice that I didn't have to actually go to wordpress.org and download the WordPress site. It is actually just creating it via Pantheon for me. So th the reason that I want to show you this method as well as developing locally is if you're going to actually work on your own server or work locally, you're going to have to install WordPress, which isn't very hard. It takes about five minutes, but you are going to have to go through that process. If you do choose to use Pantheon, you don't have to go through that process, but this is unique to Pantheon, and it's because they specialize in hosting WordPress and Drupal websites. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding on which option you want to choose. You may actually want to do both methods just so you learn how to do it in both ways. When I click visit your Pantheon dashboard, you'll now see that I have a site that is going to be set up called Demo 100. And I can go ahead and connect this site. I'm going to click visit development site and I'll just open this in another tab. And it's actually going to walk me through part of the install process. So I'm going to need to pick the language. I'll choose English. It's going to ask me to give my site a title. So I'm just going to call this Demo 100. It does not have to have the same name as what you used when you set up your Pantheon site, but in this case I am going to. I'm going to set up a username. The username is what I'm going to need to put to be able to log into the site. So I am going to just go ahead and use my name. It is recommended that you do not use admin so pick something that is a little bit more unique. You can specify a password or it can specify a password for you. I'll hide this and I'll come up with my own password. And the password I'm picking is kind of weak. Obviously, if this was a real site, you would want to pick a password that is strong. I'm just going to go ahead and confirm that I am using a weak password. I'm going to need to put my email address and the email address is just in case something goes wrong. WordPress can email you and try to help you out. So I'll enter my email address and I'm just going to choose to discourage search engines from indexing the site just because this isn't going to be a real site. This is just something I'm using to teach you how to use WordPress. Normally, if this was going to be a real site, though, you obviously would want search engines to index it, so you wouldn't uncheck this. I'll click Install WordPress, and you can see that WordPress has now been installed. It's ready to use, so if I click Log In, I can go ahead and log in, and here is the dashboard to my WordPress site. Now, we're not going to talk about the dashboard right now. That will come a little bit later on, but I just did want to show you that I was able to install WordPress successfully by using Pantheon. And that's pretty much it. That's all I really need to do in regards to Pantheon. It's very easy to set it up and it really 
automates a lot of the process for you. In one step, you have hosting. It's available anywhere on the web. And you're also able to install WordPress. And I just wanted to point out what the name of the URL is. So I'll pull this tab down so you can see it. But your URL is going to be dev dash and then whatever name you decided to name your project in Pantheon dot Pantheon site dot IO. And right now I'm in the admin portion of my website so it's pointing me to the WP admin portion. This URL though is going to be the URL and I could give this to anyone out there on the net and they could come here and visit my site and start using it. So Pantheon makes it pretty easy for you to go ahead and set up a WordPress site in just a couple minutes.